you talk about democracy. The PNC always get accused for rigging an election, and I will not deny that they did not rig if you vote race. Because the black man is 11, and the coolie is 17, and he vote on racial basis, the coolie always win. And only the two of you got this problem. I want to ask Dr. Suraj Bali, Mr. Bodu, Vincent Alexander, before the election, there was a young man running called Snow. Let them tell you what they threaten him or what they tell him 10 days before the election. But Dr. Suraj Bali, who, according to information, is alleged that her brother was in the military and an incident with a young woman, which I ain't got broadcast yet because I got it on video. I'm waiting. Threaten the man and talk shit. Well, I want Dr. Suraj Bali and others to know. Anybody can kill. And anybody can disappear and misplace. Anybody can do anything. You just got to develop the attitude and the mind and the set and continue the journey. If Jesus didn't live forever, Muhammad didn't live forever, none of us will live forever. Not even Moses. Think of it. Not even Abraham. But all we are asking for is peace, is equality, is justice, and that we can break bread together. Not a police dress up in a uniform. A coolie police kicking a black kid down, treating him like he is a fucking pig, or vice versa. A black police grab a coolie by chuck him, push him, and policeman must not make law and order. He must follow the rules. But they won't be judge and jury, especially when the dollar is right. And plenty of you police are doing it too. Don't think people don't know about y'all. But it's only time. But I am begging y'all here today. Stop the bullshit. Change and do what is right. You have children. Some of you have grandchildren. America cannot take all of you or Canada. Guyana is a beautiful country. Your ancestors come from Africa and India. Why the Portuguese and Chinese is not fighting for it, man? Answer the question. Why you got law that if a man by stealing property, stolen property, he gets jailed by your country, accept a country and says, I own. When are you accept when they arrive? And when they were free, but the Indian know the arrival day, but they don't know the day of departure. Answer me. Barrett Jack, your judge find an aunt in India. The black people got family in Ghana. I was in Ghana. But we are not getting into that to develop Guyana. We must be united. Amerindian, the native of the country of the nine or ten tribes, must play a, play a clean role and a vital role in the development of their country. How you wanted to swear on the Bible, go to your go to your temple such as the mosque. Call an Allahu Akbar, but you're robbing the fucking Amerindian. How you want to go to the Christian church and talk about in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, Amen, but you're fucking up buck men and buck women. Wake up, man. It might sound radical, but 98% of y'all are corrupt and thieves. I'm not saying you don't have change of mind. A heart, as you may call it, because your heart is a pump. But whatever you do, people are going to do you back. It's only time. Look at your population already. Bartik already taking over with Brazilian and Spanish. George Stone, Brazilian and Spanish. And other way, 10 more years from now, you will be speaking a language you don't like. Without one bullet fire, your country will be taken away by another nation because you all don't know what you have. Keep on fighting for a place don't belong to you and you will wake up one day and become a second class citizen in your own fucking country. Even though it's not yours, by the way. But because of slave trade and cheap labor, you had a chance to border like me. But I'm not fighting for power. I'm fighting for justice. You don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. Don't use the law to lock me up because your grandfather somebody's a PPP member or minister or a PNC leader or a new member. Stop this fucking nonsense, man. You got family living in Brooklyn, in Queens, Canada. People can be more devious than you. So be careful and I condemn it again. If it is true that this young little black boy sit on a TV screen and say a coolie man pay me to kill David Granger. If it is true, then that coolie man need his brain examined because he's mentally ill. Because I don't believe it. Because he should have go to the police and report it. And I don't think a businessman gonna give a man five or six million to kill a president, much less a judge 
or a mayor allow you to walk out of his house who reject the call. You crazy? He would get somebody to kill you before he even get out of his fucking house. So I don't buy that bullshit. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, wake up. It's like you give a dog a steak. And as he tastes it, you pull it back. Either you kill the dog or the dog will kill you. Think of it. I don't buy that. He should have go to the police. But maybe he don't trust them because maybe he knows how corrupt they are too. But then he should have go to the president office. Have a discussion with Mr. David Granger, president. Have a discussion with Joseph Harmon. Couple come together and they arrange this thing to get the coolie man on the act. And then they would have got the truth of the matter. And if that happens to be so, then they would have get the coolie man and let it be a test case and charge him for treason and hang him at coffee statue. Or not too far by National Park. But I don't buy this story. This is childish play. Dem say, who say, she say, what say. That's how you run in a country. Because many things happen with them say, who say, what say. We are victim of them say, who say, what say. And judges who sit down there to overhear it for a dollar bill from corrupt lawyers turn who say what say to what them say. It's only a matter of fucking time. All them say gonna change. You can be 99 year old being a try you. Judge or jury, you will be tried. Learn one thing. And remember this word. Nothing lasts forever. And what goes around comes around. And the Honorable David Granger is one of your greatest president in the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. He's the only one that set free prisoners and give them a second and third chance to live. When those who love y'all locking up your father and your grandson and your son and your granddaughter for crime and they are the biggest fucking crime maker. 